July 1st, 2018. It is Canada Day here in the Great White North. Right now in the Great White North, it is beyond hot. It is already 23 degrees Canadian this morning. It's supposed to be the hottest day of the year. My brother from another mother, my homie from Bayside, Scotty Tundra and I, we got this like Canada Day date where we go and catch bass. So today we're doing something different. Great week fishing green fish, largemouth bass. Right now, we're gonna put some gas in this and this and we are gonna hit the 401 to Kingston. Head to Brown Town. That's right, folks. We're headed to Lake Ontario. One, not one of Ontario's best fisheries, not one of Canada's best fisheries. We are heading to the, the Grand Pumbata. We are headed to one of the best smallmouth bass fisheries in the in all of North America. There is numbers, there is absolute giants. Probably the best place or best odds you have getting a fish over seven pounds. We are on the road. Mercer Marine was there yesterday. They saw a ton of big fish. And so I thought, what a better uh, Canada day date we could get then Tundra and I looking up five pounders hopefully we land some I would say we were good together I would say halfway to the promised land what's up homie not much you oh living the dream happy Canada Day yeah you too this is our second Canada Day in a row yep last, we're gonna kill it yeah time. last year uh, you beat me up you caught more fish than me, and we saw we saw an Amish guy with a, a oh, yes. yeah with a horse and a tin boat. Yep. So uh, this is your first time in Lake Ontario fishing smallies? Yeah. You've never caught one. What's your personal best smallie? Uh, just under six. We should probably see one that big. I don't know if we're gonna catch them, but we'll probably have one swim by the boat that big. Let's get all your stuff in there. We still got like uh, what are we halfway to Kingston for me? Yeah, we're gonna get there. We need to find a boat launch, and then we need to lay the smack down over there, Hoss. Come on, I'll show you how these bass boats run. <laughs> <laughs> Made it beautiful Kingston the big lake Ontario right there sun is just coming up Scotty We made pretty good time eh, homie. Yeah, we did well. It's just after 7 a.m. I left at 5 a.m. We are here. There's a little fog out there There's giant smallies before we hit the water. Let me show you what we're gonna start off with most important We got to find the fish so we're gonna be throwing surge baits right here tattoo elite switch this up My favorite surge baits on Lake Ontario spinner bait. I got your hooks homie We're gonna pop off this swim jig that is not going to work on Lake Ontario tie on our handy dandy spinner bait and the plan is to go out on the lake cast and cast and cast and cast and cast till Scotty and I run across school of giants and we'll try to use some finesse baits to land them if they don't just pound the spinner bait right away you ready Scotty I'm ready man I'm gonna catch a giant you're gonna catch a giant yeah I've got uh, almost all my baits set up I could take some rock gloves off and we're on the water look at the size of the hill we got to use as a launch go time to round of applause All right A pretty picture for the ones that are lost in life But even dreamers all the know how to save a friend And I know you are a friend that you fail again You can take it to the grave but it goes and win with you
way, bro. See that? I just pinned myself to a smallmouth and a live target lure. Fish on. water what a day no better way to spend Canada Day than in Kingston catching smallmouth bass we are probably sunburned to a crisp and we don't even know it it was so warm it was like cool out there oh, yeah. but it's hot 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 on shore so we're burnt dude you made like a killing on those little tiny swim baits oh yeah you got some giants today how you feel about that good good I you think, happy yeah I'm happy man you uh, we caught a ton of fish I think I might uh, go to Waddington there in August yeah Dude, give it like a go a walk on we we'll walk so on. the ramp. <laughs> For the elite event, we're gonna get home. I'm gonna show you a couple key baits that I was using. I'll show you what Scotty was rigged up with. As soon as we get uh, home, let's get a long drive from Kingston to Port Hope. Great day. It is ridiculously hot out. I can't even tell you. It's like 35 degrees Canadian, which translates to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. There's Canadians. I saw three Canadians mounted on the side of the 401 on, on the way home. This is insane, but a good day fishing. Man, Scotty put a herding on them. We caught a pile of fish today. Big thanks to Scotty for coming. This is now our second year in the row we did the Canada Day thing. Big thanks for pulling that bass off the hook so that I could you know, give her the old yankaroo get the hook out of my finger. There's no way we're going home after we start catching smallmouth. Let me show you two things that I was using today. We caught a fish on everything. I caught fish on drop shot on the ailer rod. We caught fish on jerk baits. We caught tons of fish on spinner baits. But the two things that really stand out first, I caught more fish today on a crankbait than I've ever caught in my life. Absolutely hammered down on them. Live target, craw, kind of like a shark tooth craw. I was getting tired throwing the jerk bait and I thought, man, I'm gonna cover some water a new way. Threw this crankbait on that I got from the good people at live target. Wailed them. Oh my 
gosh, every time we needed to find fish, between using my pan optics that worked amazing today to relocate schools of smallmouth, and we would get right back on them. Scotty, I was showing Scotty, he was amazed. We would throw this, and then Scotty would come. I threw this on the Randy Howell shell crankbait rod. Beauty Castle Mile. Threw it with the Tatua SV. You cannot get a better pairing of reels. Remember, we talked about gear ratios. 6-3. 6-3. Slowed her down a bit. Usually, I use those ultra-fast reels. Slowed her down. 20-pound J-Braid right to the hook. That I'm going to use a lot more this summer. Now, what was Scotty getting them on? Scotty threw down something totally different. He was, like, casting this little tiny minnow bait that is destroyed because after he caught so many big ones, I decided that I was going to use it too. Peg that on there. He caught, I think, most of his big fish. And he caught way more big fish than I did on this. This head doesn't work very well. This little tiny thing. And all he was doing was casting it out, letting it hit bottom and reeling it in so slow. I caught a couple fish on it. Not the mules he did, but I definitely saw a couple mules chase it. Throwing it on the Randy Howell drop shot rod. Tatua Elite. But this right here. If I can re recommend anything, it's the Tatua spinning reel. I like to get it if you're looking to cast a mile in the 3000 series. Spool her up with 10 pound J braid. I'm telling you, it'll cast an absolute country mile with those little baits. If you're going to go to Lake Ontario, fish around that area. Make sure that you're safe. I know that the waves can blow up big. I have a 21 foot bass boat and some days it is not even safe to go out in there. You can, I can't stress enough, wear your life jacket. It is a beauty fishery, but it also can be really dangerous. That lake can blow up like that. So be safe. It's Canada Day. We're ending it here. I was going to do all this outside, but it's just too darn hot. Thank you for joining us. Scotty Walton, AKA Frozen Tundra. Thanks for coming fishing. I'm going to go upstairs and have a shower, get some food. And I think Amber and I are going to go check out the fireworks for Canada today. So we'll see you soon.